So uh, I want to hear the big brain brain trust over at the Daily Wire talking about uh, Reaming. how the poor is how the working poor is are getting away with not paying as much taxes. Help him talking about taxes. No. Because he, what again. he is saying is so obviously asinine. When he says that rich people don't pay their fair share in this country, yeah. that is just an abject, disgusting lie. It is. Oh, God. Oh, God, dude. That's great, dude. That is really good. I love this clip already. I love this clip already. He's literally, he started it off by, he, he started off by saying like, it is preposterous that people say rich people don't pay their fair share in taxes. Because he, what he is saying is so obviously asinine. When he says that rich people don't pay their fair share in this country, yeah. that is just an abject, disgusting lie. It is a lie. The top 10% of income earners in this country pay all net taxes. Not some of the net taxes, all of the net taxes. Because net taxes are defined as what you pay into the government minus what you get back from the government. So if you get back from the government more than you paid in, this means that you were not a person who paid net taxes into the government. Only the people at the top of the spectrum are paying net taxes in this country. Hassle. Okay. First of all, what a way to what a way to measure how people pay taxes. What a way, not the burden on the individual with respect to their uh uh net revenue that they've generated that entire year. Okay? But with respect to how much people are paying in versus what they're getting out. What an incredible f***ing way to look at how uh, tax policy works, dude. That is fucking That's awesome. That only means that rich people are making so much fucking money. They're making so much goddamn money that it, it, it literally doesn't matter if they're fucking uh, investing it back. <laughs> Does he think the government keeps the tax money in his pockets? Yeah, your value is what you bring. Oh, your value is what you bring to the states, except, except uh, by that fucking standard, Ben Shapiro should be crying about red states every fucking day because they are the welfare queen states, technically. They are the welfare queens of states. You know what I mean? Like every fucking conservative Republican state uh, is, is taking so much more from the federal budget than they give back in taxes. So what the fuck does that say? That's not how we operate. People like to complain about taxes, yet you tell your accountant to abuse every system in the book to play as low tax as possible? Bro, are you trying to get dunked on? Like, I, why are you making stuff up? Like, literally just making stuff up. Anyway. Unless he's talking about Ben, but added me or something. But probably not. Why do you even file taxes? You're stealing from the government, getting a tax refund? You participate in society? Curious? Yeah. I like that though. He's really, he's really fucking uh, silly. I like that. Okay, let's keep it going. Country. All of the net taxes in this country. Yeah. When he says they're not paying their fair share, the only thing he means by they're not paying their fair share is it should be nearly all of your income goes to the federal government. And when. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, he's right. He's literally right. It should be nearly all of your income. That goes to the federal government. That would be fair because that's literally what happens to the American working class, okay? It's not nearly all of your fucking income, but it's damn near goddamn close of what you have remaining. So yeah, in that respect, that would be fair. If we're talking about like the actual tax burden that you have with respect to how much money you have created that year or how much money you've generated that year with respect to your annual income, then yeah. That would be fair. That system would be fair. So Ben is correct in that regard. 
Okay, that's that's literally like the the tax burden for someone making less than a hundred thousand dollars or one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a year is tremendous. Uh, with respect, oh, Jesus Christ, what? A, fuck, fix it. Camera's broken, Gomez, boys. My PP feel funny. Like we're not talking about thirty-seven percent. Oh God, what is happening? Okay, this is fucking annoying. Oh, it got fixed. Okay, we're good. <sighs> okay, what? You don't like my calluses? Shut the fuck up. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. When he says no, things I'm like, not sub, I'm not that's gonna tax anybody who's making under $400,000 a year, he is lying to you through his teeth. When he says I'm gonna tax corporations, corporations are not human beings for purposes of taxes. The money... Oh, 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 they're not. Oh, corporations are not human beings. That's interesting. Wait, so what's up with the fucking Citizens United, motherfucker? I'm sorry. All of a sudden, when the tax man comes around, corporations are not human beings. Everybody knows this. But when it comes to writing legislation directly, uh, corporations obviously have to be treated like human beings because their interests are very important. They're far superior to the interests of the American public. Wow, dude. Wow. Wow. That's why he said not human beings for the purpose of taxes, because they are human beings when it comes to writing legislation or directing the legislative agenda. Woo! Oh, he's so good. Oh man, dude. He is so fucking good, dude. This is this is a brilliant take. All of this is every part of this is fucking great, dude. Okay, okay, I love this. That would have been passed on to you via income is being taxed up here. That money is now being withdrawn from the system and taken away from you. Corporations are going to have to raise prices in order to deal with the taxation effect. Yeah, totally. When he says that I'm going to tax all of these rich people on their capital gains taxes, what do you think those rich people are going to do rather than put their money in the stock market where they get taxed on capital gains? They're not going to put their money in the stock market. So what happens to your 401k if you're a union member or a teacher's union member? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, because right now when they do that, it's it's working great. Yeah, rich people are just not going to invest, dude. I'm sorry. Rich people are just not going to invest in the stock market. So what the fuck happens when rich people invest in the stock market to the working poor? And this is why I've talked about this before. Like the privatization of a significant government function, a social safety net that should be there for all elderly people, social security, Becoming privatized slowly but surely uh, uh, by, by like changing pension plans, which already have like a fuckload of problems to begin with, uh, into 401ks creates a system where you, the average layman, every man, the average Joe, think you have a vested interest in the stock market uh, or a, a legitimate controlling stake in the stock market. And to a degree, you do. Because of the way that uh, gains are privatized, whereas losses are shared and socialized in our current organization of the economy. So you, as a motherfucker making $75,000 a year, think like, well, my retirement and my future is in this 401k and my 401k needs to do well. So we have to, we have to fucking make sure the stock market is doing well. When, whereas when we're talking about the real stake that the Americans have in the stock market, the top 10% of wealth in the United States of America own 90% of the stock market, okay? Only 55% of the country actually has uh, a real stake, or 55% or, uh, of the country does not have a real stake. Some 55% own stocks, but, don't necessar but that doesn't necessarily mean like having a controlling interest or any sort of like significant fucking interest in the stock market at all. Social security in my country is run by the government. It's almost bankrupt. Almost all these issues come... Well, of course, social security is run by the government. Whew. The rich invest in the dips to take your money from your retirement. It's how they made billions. 
Yeah. So when Ben Shibibo talks about capital gains hurting everyday, uh, capital gains taxes increasing, hurting everyday Americans, when Benny Boy yeah. says that, he can't actually address the truth, which is that only top 10% of wealth in the United States of America will see, I guess not even fucking harm, but will see an additional tax burden on this. So he has to say, your 401ks are going to be impacted because the rich are going to pull back their money. Okay. Where are they going to put it? The part of this that I get very frustrated by, the, the, the concept that I get very frustrated by here is that, like, motherfuckers will always talk about how this is the perfect system that we exist under and then literally say that the wealthy collectively have a gun pointed to the fucking head of the American economy and that we are held hostage by their demands all the fucking time. And then they're like, oh, it's the best. It's the best, though. It's Great. the best system. Bro, if perhaps if your best defense against uh, uh, your best defense against like uh, increasing government spending, your best defense against uh, raising taxes is the rich people will simply fuck off and go somewhere else with their money, then maybe it's not the best fucking system. And maybe we should create a workaround around that, like punishing people that actually do this. Like, how are you going to sit there and be like, this is the greatest thing. Capitalism is incredible. It's so innovative. It's so great. Also, rich people literally fucking own the entire government. Rich people literally own the entire economy. And as a matter of fact, if we don't abide by their uh, extremely ridiculous standards and uh, consistently lower their tax burden, uh, they will go away. This is a good system. How are they generating that, uh, generating that wealth? Well, they're generating that wealth by uh, exploiting labor. But uh, that's besides the point. What do you think happens to all the other 50% of the population who are invested in the stock market right now? And what happens to the businesses that hire you when Joe Biden decides? Yeah. Also, this is why I kind of get triggered by like the fucking new wave of like, uh, not crypto kitties, but like the, the Robin Hood leftists, I guess. When they think like they have like a genuine fucking interest in, in, in the, in the stock market, like. Where they, they, they think that they have like any sort of control interest or genuine interest is like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, what, what do you think? Because you're like fucking moving a, a thousand dollars around that you like actually like, think that this is going to come back and help you? Like, you're a retail investor. Uh, they will do everything they can to fucking dominate you. And they'll rob you for uh, the, the fucking 20 grand that you invested into the stock market. Eat the pool. Yeah. Yeah, top 10% of households own 90% of the stock market in the United States of America. ...that your boss needs to be taxed out of existence in order so that he can determine where the dollars go. This jackass who's never created a single job in his entire life. <laughs> the people who don't pay their fair share in this country are the poor. We need to raise taxes on the poor. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. The poor in this country pay zero. The lower middle class in this country pay net zero. So we have a group of people who pay no taxes, a group of people who pay no net taxes, a group of people who pay all the net taxes. And his argument is that it's category three who don't pay their fair share. Bro, this is great. I, I love that. No, no, no. I love that. This is great. We need conservatives to say this stuff. Stop throwing question marks at this. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. This is a gift. This is literally a gift, okay? When conservatives come out and straight up say this shit, it's wonderful, dude. It is so, it's so liberating. Like, it, it's great that you don't have to have that, uh, that conversation. He's basically expanding on Ben Shapiro's take. Ben Shapiro is too smart to say it out loud like that. But that's great. That is actually what he is saying. Fair share means your. By the way, the other guys are laughing at him, but like he's basically saying what Ben Shapiro stated. He's just taking it one step beyond what Ben Shapiro was uh, brave enough to say. Your 
percentage of taxes. We've determined that there are some people who shouldn't pay any percent of taxes. The only fair taxing system is one in which everyone pays. Nice. But I love that. What they mean by net taxes is what they're talking about as far as like how much tax a middle income person, a middle class person pays versus what they get back from the government. And it's like, it's fucking bullshit math for the most part. Okay. Like what he's trying to say is like, he makes it seem as though the wealthy are completely removed from how they generate their wealth. Okay. They just magically generate it. It's not like built on this robust infrastructure that is virtually impossible to fucking uh, uh, comprehend the actual uh, the actual amount of like uh, the actual uh, amount of government uh, government funded uh, infrastructure projects and the the amount of things that like wealthy people rely on on any given basis is very very difficult to calculate. So he's basically just saying that you know the average citizen uses this much of the uh government taxes right that go into like roads and shit like that i don't even know if that's uh, actually what you use uh when you're calculating this but he's just basically looking at the value that you get from being an american citizen the value that you get from the infrastructure and all of this stuff uh versus how much you're paying like what your taxes are why, 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 right why. So, what counts as middle class in America? Oh, you make 10000 Uh-oh, you're a net drain to the government. Please pay 12000 in taxes to cover the public education and healthcare we give you. Like, what is this guy saying? That's what he's saying, right? He's basically stating that, like, if you get money back from the government, if you get money back from the government, uh, and you're very poor, and you are going to get a, a refund, then you're a net burden. Well, that does not fucking compute... That does not even begin to compute how wealthy people make their money. Okay? Like, that does not add on. Uh, there is no way to fully calculate how much a CEO is benefiting from the infrastructure more so than, like, the average fucking citizen. Do you understand? There's no way to calculate that. There's no way to work that math. I, I don't know if I'm making myself very clear here. Like, assuming that the average citizen utilizes, like, I don't know, $10,000 worth of government funds on a daily basis because they're going through roads and fucking all this other shit uh, and, and uh, utilizing the infrastructure that's being built is one thing, but you can never compute exactly Six how months. much a wealthy person Thanks is taking advantage of it if you especially think about Wealthy people, just like poor people, like, they're just only driving in the same roads. No, motherfucker, what about the truck that's driving on that road? You know what I mean? The truck that he owns. What about the, the infrastructure that was built that uh, the, the high-speed internet, the high-speed broadband access that that, like, fucking stock trader relies on? Do you see what I'm saying? That was built with government money. How, what percentage of that directly held, uh, uh, what percentage of that directly benefits wealthy people you cannot fucking figure that out which is why this kind of conversation about like the net benefit or net bur uh you know the net taxes net revenue taxes or whatever the fuck they're talking about is idiotic okay it's completely idiotic it's not really used that much uh and and oh, John, the you. real problem Absolutely. is the burden the tax burden that a wealthy person has in comparison to uh the tax burden that a wealthy person has in comparison to fucking uh, poor people Yeah. Hey, hey, fast and free us. Hey, hey, hey.